Hey YouTube, here is the final result of this first part of the um, Scratch modeling of a fire engine tutorial. As you can see, we will make a very detailed engine with uh, as many de details as we can, but yet keep it low poly, so basically compatible with any games. So I'll try and give you as many keyboard um, shortcuts and 3D modeling techniques as I can. So yeah, here is the 360 view of what we are about to make. I will also give you a quick example of how to create animations. So as you can see, those footsteps will be animated. So yeah, hope you guys will enjoy. Alright, let's start by setting up the blueprints. Uh, blueprints are drawings. Basically, it's a guide of where is what. So you'll just follow the blueprints when modeling. It helps you being very accurate. And or when you're a rookie, it helps you to a model. It makes things easier. Over time, you may actually skip the blueprints part, but that's if you have a lot of skills. But yeah, basically, you will always want uh, to use blueprint. Uh, how to get them? So either you have the chance to own the vehicle or the object. And in that case, you would just take your own pictures. Just make sure you take pictures of every single side like you see on my screen or uh, you don't have access to the thing you're trying to model and in that case google or whatever search engine you're using is your friend um, so let's say for example i want to get a ford f350 pickup blueprints i'll just go on your search i mean just go on your search browser image and type in for F350 and add the blueprints keywords at the end. So let's say I wanted a Chevy Silverado blueprints. I'll just type in Chevrolet Silverado blueprints. So yeah, you get the picture. And here is the result you, you would get. So as you can see, we have multiple drawings. Uh, also, you want to get the highest resolution picture available so to do that don't forget to use the filter and in the image size just pick up the biggest uh, resolution uh, now here is an example of what we would get a nice M F350 Embo or okay maybe not nice but yeah it's an Embo um, yeah that's better that's an actual F350 so yeah, anyway, uh, sometimes you will get every side of the model you want. So the, f the left side, the right side, the top view, the rear and the front. But sometimes you would only get uh, one or two sides, kind of like on this drawing. Here you only have the top and the left and the right uh, side. So at some point when you acquire skills, you can go with only two or three sides, but it's always better to get a blueprint with every single size side. So yeah, once you actually found your blueprint, uh, next step is to isolate each uh, side. So to do that, just zoom in as much as you can on the sides, I mean, on one side, then using the whatever you want. Um, I, I'm just gonna use the default window screen tool. I'll just select the size side. So yeah, as you can see, I'm only selecting the side, not the extra blank space around it. Okay, let's just go a little bit up. There we go. 
So yeah, just try and do that for each side. Of course, you can manually fix the extra blank uh, you would have using a another software such as Photoshop or the GIMP. So yeah, but your goal is at the end to have the the picture of the side with just the drawings, nothing extra, kind of like here. Uh, and then yeah, you do that for each side, kind of like I did here. So I have one picture for the left side, one for the rear, and one for the right, uh, for the right side. And uh, yeah. Uh, okay, that was for the uh, boring part. Now let's actually start set them up on 3ds Max. Uh, okay, so you've got four viewports, one for each uh, view. So the front, the top, the left, and perspective. Select the uh, left viewport. Just uh, what I do is I just make a left click or middle mouse button click on the viewport. Click on wireframe and select shaded. And now we are going to uh, draw a plane. So click and drag. You don't really care about the size. The size we're gonna make it manually. Uh, reduce the length and width segs to one. That's not mandatory, but I just like to do it. Uh, okay, let's set the size size properly. So for the length. To get the length and width of the plane, we are going to select the length and width of the picture. So here it's uh, 1854 by 552. So 1854 should go here. So let's make sure I didn't screw up. Oh, I did. So it's actually the opposite 552 by 1854 okay let's remove the grill by pressing G okay so now we've got a very nice blank plane it's a pink plane but we don't want a pink plane we want our blueprints on it so press M to open up the material editor window Okay, now drag standard material, double click on it. Let's rename this to say left blueprint or whatever you want. Now on a diffuse spot, just click on the small square here and select bitmap and select your blueprint. So in my case, left. Now Make sure your plane is uh, selected. See, as you can see here, it's selected. Uh, click on the fourth small picture here, assign material to the selection. And one more step and we're done. Click on show shaded material in the viewport. Fair. Okay, let's close that. And as you can see, we've got a nice blueprint here. And we can zoom in as much as we can. And it's, I mean, it's kind of blur at some point, but yeah, we, we will be able to get a, light, a nice level of detail. Which on the other hand, if you had a low resolution uh, blueprint, it would be very blurry, very early. You won't be able to zoom in and get a nice set of detail. So yeah, now let's actually duplicate that for the rear view. So here, click on the Select and Rotate tool, press Shift, and on the top view, select that yellow uh, circle. So don't forget to press Shift while doing that. Oh, my bad, actually. Uh, make sure to also click on Angle Snap Toggle. Makes things easier for the uh, angle. So as you can see, it's going five by five instead of not nice. Uh, okay, press OK to duplicate it. Of course, we need to change the size of that newly created plane. 
So let's get that. So the size is 545 by 478. So on the modify tab here, let's set up the side of our new uh, created plane. So 478 by 545. Okay, now, uh, oops, my bad. Okay, anyway, uh, so let's drag it to the rear of that blueprint. The rear should be somewhere, no, it's not here. It's right here. Oh, of course, if I don't change the blueprint, that would be problematic. So bring up the uh, material editor again. Again, click on standard, drag and drop it. Change that to rear blueprint. And again, okay, we are going to select the rear view. Sign it. So basically, you just repeat the step we've done in the first place. We can now close this, the material editor window because we don't need that anymore. We are going to adjust the position of the blueprint. So we want to raise that a little bit. Actually, it should be good. All right, that's good enough. So yeah, you can tell you didn't screw up. Uh, yeah, basically. Uh, I mean, we can make sure we didn't screw up later on. So don't worry if you actually did. But yeah, that's very important to set up the right size and get a proportional blueprint. Okay, so let's just move that slightly to that point. We'll just fix that later on. Uh, okay, we are actually ready to start modding. Let's click on that. Uh, well, actually, say like both. And freeze the selection. Or not. Oops. Okay, well, uh, let's start modeling. Like I said, so go back to the first tab, the create tab. Let's zoom out. Actually, we can just maximize that viewport because we are going to start making the pamper part. And then once we're done with that pamper, so basically that big box here, we'll make that pen panel. And then finally the front cab. That's basically how we will handle it. Of course, if you want to start with the front cab, you are free to do so. You basically just start with what you feel more comfortable with. It's uh, it's honestly it's really up to you. Um yeah, quickly before I actually start modeling, uh IT people are lazy. And we like to make our life easier. And I, I don't know if you noticed, but every single object and vehicle are symmetric. So now, how is that good for us? Um, this is good for us because we will just actually um, model one half of the model and then we will generate automatically the second half. So basically for that, the front cab, we're just gonna make that part right here. We'll just stop around here in the windshield because, yeah, basically it's very symmetric, so it's helpful. On the other hand, the pamper part it's different. As you can see here, there are roll up doors, uh, but on the right side, also there is 
uh, there are two roll-up doors. There is also a ladder rack and stuff. So yeah, we uh, we're gonna have to make the that manually. But the front cab and the pump pedal, we can definitely use some tools to go faster. Uh, all right, let's finally start after 14 long minutes. Okay, let's start making the uh, rear pump. So create a plane. So just click on plane, and let's simply click it. Here. Here we don't care about the size. We'll do it manually. So just draw a small plane. Now make a right click, convert to editable poly. We will just just the um, size. Okay, that's much better. Now, as you can see, there are different type of selection. So vertex, that's what I've been using. You can also use the edge mode. So basically it's the small line here, or this one, or this one. There is the border, that's useful. It selects all the um, edges. Polygon, right now there's only one, but later on you'll see there are more. And the element selection, so basically you just select the entire object you're making. So right now let's just go back into vertex mode, zoom out and pull that down until here. Actually I just do the same here. Okay. Good. Now we are going to grab the right edge and say I'm just drag it to the right until the end of the track. So obviously as you can see we cannot see the blueprints because the plane is covering it. So just press Alt X to use a see through feature. So basically it makes your object transparent. Okay, so we are good. So now basically we, our job is to create an, uh, an edge on every single black line you can see here. So first we will start with the bottom side thing here. So on the front view, just select all, I mean the left and right edges. Click on the small square next to connect and click OK. Now with the newly selected edge, just drag it down so it cover that part. Looks convenient. Looks OK. Maybe just a little more down. Well, let's do that from the front view, that will be faster. Okay, so now we are good to go. We're just gonna add a few more edges. So this time I'm just going to vertex mode. So basically we're doing the same, but at a specific location directly. Or actually you can do the same with the edge mode, but yeah, I just want to show you different methods. So you click on cut. And just click on the edge. It's not it's not a problem if it's not straight, we'll fix that later. Don't worry. Same thing. And again on the other side. And finally here. Okay, now go back into the edge mode and select each new uh, edge we've created. Scroll down until you see the X, Y, Z. So click on X to make it straight. One after the other. X. Oh, 
Okay. Now let's roll up and go into polygon selection mode. Select the two sidings and from the front view. Let's click on the small square next to extrude. Um, make it free. And then click on the small plus to make a second extrusion and this time put in five, okay, let's say six. Then click on the scale tool, go back into the left view and grab the small x and slowly we want to grab to click on the angle snap toggle so we've got a nicer and cleaner angle that looks fine by me maybe it's too wide actually so a little bit less all right that's not bad go back into vertex mode so move tool or we may just try and make it slow. Okay, that's much better, I think. Yeah, much better. Uh, next step is to make that small upper part right here is supposed to be a metallic part. As you can see. So yeah, make sure to get enough reference pictures of the model you're trying to make because this is definitely uh, helpful to determine how to do stuff. And it will help you be more accurate and accomplish your result. So drag it. So with the new edge we've created, let's just put it up until here. That looks okay. All right, that will be good. We will come back later to finish that. Now we're going to make the roll up doors and compartments. Uh, I took the liberty to go ahead and make the roll up doors because I took a shitload of time to actually make those. Basically, I spent two hours. So don't worry, I recorded it. I'll just want include it in this video. Uh, there is a link to the uh, roll up door tutorial itself on the description um, so yeah we're just gonna make the uh, roll of doors anyway so select the left and right edges of the middle board we need um, two edges one for the top uh, hold on, actually, we're going to do that, but first for the um, yep, maybe I should have started with that because it may not work. Yep. Fair enough. I'm going manually then. So we're just gonna create edges. To do that, just use the um, going to edge selection, cut, and manually add your edges wherever you want. Actually, let's just go directly. Maybe here. Save. 
same for this one. Again, we don't care if it's not um, set up properly. Actually, let's now go into vertex mode to be more accurate. Again, grab the cat tool, click on that vertex, and on the other one here. Add another one here and that'll be good enough. Same for this one, we go down here, here. Our goal is just to um, basically follow the lines, like I said. And finally, this one in here. Let's close the loop here. All right, we're good. So now if I go into polygon mode, as you can see, when I select the doors are covered. So now we'll just make it look straight. Is that the right one? Yes. So right now we've selected all the top edges. Let's just click on not X. So Y it is. So which one is it? Z or Y? Now we're good. Um, now same for here. We're gonna make it straight. And finally, the one on the bottom will also turn straight. Okay. Now, or I'm just gonna unselect everything to make sure they fit properly. The, um, no, they don't. So I'm gonna have to make some adjustment. And let's adjust the bottom ones as well. There, looks much better this way. Alright, we're good. Um, and now let's make sure the, um, we're gonna go into edge selection, hide. Oops. 
or the right one. But let's just make sure for our straight. I they are. So yeah, anyway, we, we're just trying to make sure they are behind the um, gray part, which is basically the um, door. Same goes for you. Okay, you go there and you a little bit more to the right. And finally, there is this part. So we are good. Make sure, let's select, select, select. It's normal if uh, I can tear through. Yep, perfect. I mean, you get what I'm saying. <coughs> This one that I actually can drag more to the left. Okay, anyway, we're good. So now that will be the um, compartments. So we're gonna basically pull that inside on the inside using the extrudes tool so click on the small square next to it put in minus 60 you also have to make sure it do not interfere with the hose bed so we're good so minus 60 works just fine so okay All right, now we're gonna make that um, small part right here. So basically, it's all about making that small compartment door, this one as well, and the wheel part. So let's simply select, whoops. Let's just select uh, straight one. Like that. Click on. Um, actually, we don't need to do that. Yeah, anyway, we're just gonna go straight and make it. So let's hide. Or, oops. Hide the selection like that as well. Okay, so we're just gonna follow the, follow those lines. So using the cat the vertex tool, we're going to cut our way there, basically. So click here. Let's just uh, make things straight. So like that edge and X, X. This one will be with 
way. All right, we are quickly going to adjust. Basically, you just pull that here. And this one in here. Let's actually make that fit here. So yeah, like I said, don't worry, I've got all the door and compartment door on video. Just not on this one to gain some time. Otherwise, this video would be like 10 hours. Which is obviously not something we want. Finally. Here, okay. So let's just select that one and same thing than before. Click on the small square next to extrude minus 60. And there we go. We've got ourselves a compartment door just made. Let's do the same here. I'm just quickly going to delete the surroundings as I don't need those. Using the cat tool again. Nope, it didn't work. So when it did not work, just try a different approach. Makes things better. So whenever you're making a model, you will basically always use the same tools, literally. So at the end of the day, you just know what to do, how to do. So yeah, you, you just need someone to point you to which tools to use. And then trust me, it's just easier. So this is not okay. So we have to to restart that part. This is still not okay. I think I know what I should be doing. That click here and link to this one. Yep, fixed it. So now again, let's make everything straight. X, this one will be with Y. Now slightly adjust the um, edges. I 
I think this is okay. Let's actually make it less wider. Alright, that should work. So select the face we've created. And simply uh, again minus sixty. Alright. <clears throat> so now we almost have the left side done um, we've got a, the small side door thing we've got the roll-up doors we've got these compartment doors the metallic part will be done as soon as we actually make the rear side so now we'll only have uh, one or two things to make One of those being the, this big wheel. So I'm trying to think to the best approach here. Um, <coughs> so I will. Yeah, I'll just make the wheels at the, uh, at the end. This way it will make things easier for us right now. And it will allow us to be faster. So just go into the border mode. Here. As you can see, everything is selected, nice and easy. And we are going to drag it to the right. So basically, we're, we're heading for the rear view now. So just press Shift. If you're not on the shaded viewport, make sure you are. Because if you're going to wear, if you're still in wireframe, that's what you'll get. So obviously not something you want. Leave the wireframe for the tab view. So yeah, anyway, keep up on the shaded view and press shift and drag to the right and stop around here. So I just do that from the tab view to adjust if needed. There. And then again, press shift. And stop to the next line here. Mm. Alright, now just press shift and keep dragging to the um, over extremity, which is around here. So again, just do it from the tab view. This way you can actually be faster and more accurate. And again, press shift and drag here. Okay. So we are going to cover that side. Basically, that's how it looks. It's a very big hole, as you can see. 
So into the border mode, if we're not already in it, scroll down and cap. That will basically fix the hole by creating a, a face. Now select here uh, edge, make sure you're in edge selection tool. Select those two edges and click on the small square next to connect. We only need one. Uh, go into vertex so you see what you're doing and this will be here. okay let's quickly check out the rear view in the rear, the right. Just need to find out something. Okay, all good. So let's actually create a second edge. And when before, just nicely drag. Oh, come on, drag that nicely here. Okay, now we are going to select that and that and extrude. Let's put in. 56, 60. Okay. Alright, it do not look like a fire truck at the moment, but in a few minutes that would definitely look better, don't worry. Um, okay, so now we are going to select um, a few edges actually just two those two small edges to create the hose bed so select those two click on connect okay and move that new edge to that small line or at least the line that is supposed to be the hose bed So we're supposed to have a bed here and that. So the whose bed should be up around here. I'd say in the middle of the middle row of door. So if that do not make sense, it should be around here. So let's quickly select those two edges connect okay and place it correctly yep see you can see the door handle there which means it's a little bit to the right i should whoops so let's actually go into okay do not help actually um say around here that's small for a hose bed looks yeah looks more decent okay so simply crop that face delete it delete that and we're just going to extrude that. So extrude minus 50 or minus 150. Yep, perfect. 
how it work. We'll just make it fit properly. Let's also delete that. Okay, we've got now we've got a host bed. That looks better. Alright. Um So I've got a host bed. We now should be making those two parts right here. So grab those two. Polygon. Click extrude. Let's say 50, 60, 70. 69 works perfectly for us in that case. Okay. Now simply select those two last edges. Right now we're making that tab thing. Click on Connect and let's drag the edges to a more suitable place. Yep, that works fine by me. We are also going to, yeah. So our goal is to create a new edge here. I did not go with the easiest version. So let's go back into uh, selecting edges, select also those connect now we've got it here as well okay that will be easier same thing now it's just like those two edges so again add plus x for the see through option connect yes now let's do that manually Hmm, that's interesting. Where should... <coughs> no, it's at the right place. So, keep dragging it. Just, I'm gonna do it from the tab view. Just keep dragging, should not be too big nor too small. I think that looks okay. Now go into polygon modes. Click on bridge, or at least a small square, no, just click on bridge, select that polygon, so that face, and the over one facing it, and there we go, we have generated a, it's actually, it's big, so let's fix that. I think this is fine. Alright, we are good. Now we are going to add some details. Basically everything you see here. Mm. Let's start with 
right here. So just like that polygon. Because that will help us not create a new plane, set up and set it up at the right space. At the right place, I mean. So wait here. Here. Shift and drag it to the um, bottom. Now select those two left edges. Simply drag them to cover properly that. Into the vertex mode, just select the <coughs> one of the edge. And finally, this one, press shift and drag it right here. So now go into border mode, select what you just created. And simply select it, that's weird. I think this should be here actually. Yeah, I think it is. Yep, it's the blueprint. Okay, so it's shift drag to the left don't forget to use the cap feeder and all right okay if it's here on the left view it should also be there on the right view am i correct yes this is indeed where it should be. Also, I don't like its position, so I may simply Okay, I'll just determine that later. We've got things set up correctly. That's the essential part. Just going to get them blueprints out, out of the way. This way we can actually see things. It looks way too weird, so just gonna ignore that grid there and voila. Same thing goes, oops, press shift and place it on the other side. Use the rotate tool, make sure angle snap toggle is turned on to make things easier for you. And make it 180 degree, that's perfect. Okay. We've got it on each side. So 
um, next step is to make that small light Let's make things easy for us. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm simple. I'm just gonna start with something new. So basically I'm gonna draw a rectangle or I could also go with the box. How would I do that? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go with a box. That's easier. So create a new box. Let's make sure it's properly set. And move it to a proper position. I'll just say here, we'll make it better later. Yeah, just convert it to Able Poly. Select all the vertex. So at the moment, just make it square. We will round it up later. Or actually, we're, we are going to do that soon. So select that face here, click on inset. Let's say five is enough eventually eight seven six okay six should do the trick Now, simply um, okay, let's extrude it on the inside. So just extrude minus ten. 15. Okay, we're just gonna go with minus 20 because we have to round up the corners. Actually, first let's connect there using the scale tool on the y axis just slightly make it bigger come on thanks yeah i have a very buggy mouse so that works fine Actually, that is supposed to be straight. So keep it straight. All right, we're good. <coughs> now let's actually 
select all the outer edges except the one in the middle and let's make this um, rounded so use the chamfer tool basically click on the small square next to chamfer let's say three five no that's too much adds more edge segment to it and it is not working that's problematic maybe i should have done that in the, in the first place yeah i think whoops fair enough i should have done that on the first place not now so that's slightly problematic Yeah, okay, well, let's just restart, sadly. Let's go again for... Okay, well, in that case, let's just go to a rectangle. This way it will already be done. So, rectangle, there. Drag it to the right place. Let's say two, five, four seems to be okay for the radius. And 37 for the um, length. Oops, that works. Okay, well, it's going to convert to editable poly. Let's quickly make the inset five too much three three point five. Okay. First, let's add one edge to make it bigger okay and same thing goes on for here just barely uh, let's select the middle edges, we don't need those. Now select all of the outer edge, extrude to two. Okay. The inner one, we're, we're just gonna push it away because it's already works just make this slightly bigger okay we are going to make that so just select oops those two edges a little bit rounder hopefully it will work this time so chamfer 
yep will work free let's add another Actually, it just looks too. I say ten seems to be good enough. Indeed, make this one straight as it should be. Same goes for that one. Let's just quickly do it for top and bottom edges. Chamfer, same story. Okay. All right. Now we've just made the cover. We actually need to make a hole inside the chassis. So to do that. We are going to just like that and that. Copy that. Okay, this way we don't mess up with something else. I'm just gonna push that to the left so I don't need to touch the other part. Okay, there, there, connect. We're gonna create two edges. One should be here. And again, we are going to connect those two. This one, in my opinion, we can actually save some um, poly because this is very important when you are making a model for a game. This is really something you want to uh, pay attention. So we are good. It's not going into the bay door. I don't think so. We'll just make sure. Yep. So this is good. All right. Let's grab that and get it on the inside then. There. All right. 
So let's just make that gray. <clears throat> to see things easier. There we go. Looks nice and steady. Perfect. So let's attach with that again. We're good in here. Um, Uh, we are going to create the handle. So right now it looks definitely more like a fire truck, right? The doors, the um, tall door on the side, side of things. Okay. Let's create the um, handle. Should didn't take that long to make. We're going to start with a sphere. Let's make it bigger for Point five should definitely do the trick. So it converts to editable poly, and all right, we are good. Simply drag it to the top. Let's create two edges. This port should actually let's just make that straight. Now, using the extrude menu minus five, okay, it's working, but minus two is more reasonable. Oops. Um, what did I do? Fuzzy. Okay. So extrude minus 1.5 to match, minus 0 0.5. Nope. Okay, minus 1 definitely is the way to go. Eventually, minus 0 0.3. Oops. 0 0.8 okay we're just gonna go with minus 0 0.95 it's much better okay no, we just need to create the overhaul of it. Uh, 
Okay, now we will actually um, create the handle, so zoom in, and we're gonna select some edges. Let's see if we could select them for here, that would be easier. So let's just select the whole thing right here. Move that and that. Alright, this way we have a nice clear thing. Let's eventually do the same on the top. Okay, just make sure we've selected the right edges I and mean the, the right polygons. Yes, we did. Oops. So I think we extrude those. Let's say three. Mm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, even four maybe. Yeah, I'll just stick with three. We'll just make everything flat. Right, Z. No, it did not render properly. So I um, may actually have to. Yep, okay, let's just go back because it simply it won't work. I mean, it will, but just no. Even here it's kind of weird, but I think it's, it, it's fine. People won't notice because it's small and it's on the rear. Well, actually, yeah. Well, it's not so bad. Give quite a, a nice effect. So I'll just leave it here. All right, anyway, let's not let, lose any more time. Let's just draw a simple box. Convert to editable poly. Here, here. Come on. Oh, it's not set in the right position. That's why. Let's go into the tab view, make it here. We're just gonna make it larger. This should be enough. Here. Okay. Actually, let's just make it here, here. Here, okay, we're gonna select we're gonna select that face here. We're gonna extrude it. One is fine. Same goes here. Let's make this a Three. Mm 
chamfer here and up okay one seems to be good enough Let's just make a uh, oops. Okay, let's quickly go back and make this a little bit thinner. Alright, now we can come through. Alright. We'll just get it slightly up. Not bad. Also, I may try and get that slightly wider. Yep, looks better. Just not too much. All right. Make it gray you as well. I think it won't okay. Maybe I'll come back before I chamfer it. I'll just make it white here. Nah, it was better the way it was. So let's simply go back to Shem for it again. And leave it just like that. All right. So get it up a little bit, just like here. It's properly aligned. Let's make the entire thing wider. All right. Looks fine by me. So let's duplicate that down here and attach that. Alright, we now have a nice looking handle. trying to figure this out because the worst case scenario I just um, okay you know what that bothers me so let's just quickly come on we're just gonna select that we're gonna cap that where is it And eventually we just select that. Yep. Come on. Alright, that fixed it. So let's just pull it up. Nice and easy. There we go. OK, 
Okay, now I can say we actually have a nice looking uh, handle bar. So let's place it correctly where it should be. Oh, well, I just made my life harder because I had the blueprints. Well, in that case, let's. we go basically it's 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 what I did just a little bit bigger so yeah so actually is also bigger in here so yeah, nothing we couldn't handle okay, looks more legit now going to put it right in just like that okay do not move so we can now just duplicate it as many times as we need which is basically what I'm about to do first I'm gonna duplicate it right what shift drag it on the over side of it where it's supposed to be here it should be good so we've got it here here now let's go ahead and make it a 90 degree there And um, here should be good. I kind of want to split it by two. Um, that would be dumb. Yeah, I'm just trying to customize the track to make it look better, if I can say so. So I'll just do as. You right here. You okay, that should be better. All right, so yeah, just don't mind me. Like I said, I'm just making things custom. Uh, let's attach that and that are basically all the same on the overhead I may have to move that to a proper position or not no nope. perfect okay so we're done with the door handles oh well 
not door handles, my bad, with the handles period. Um, okay, we are now going to make the details inside the hose bed and that flashlight. Actually, I've been thinking and I'll just be using the same thing and add more details. So let's start with the hose bed details. Mm. We are going to create a line. So nice and easy. Press the shift key to make a straight line. And then another straight line that goes here. Right click to close the line. I made that way too big. Let's place it here. Edit ball spline. Yep, definitely way too big. So here should be good. And well, let's actually just place things correctly directly. Definitely way too far. So here it should be. Whatever, let's just have it here. Now we were going to select that point and go into chamfer and chamfer it. Nice and easy, had and selected. Chamfer. Nope, that's not the right one. It was actually fill it. Sorry, my mind is somewhere else. Uh, that should work. Yes. Okay. We're going to use a modifier. That's something that is going to make your life easy. So get used to it. Uh, this is the swipe, the sweep modifier. Fair. So we're gonna change the um, line into a cylinder. There we go. We're just gonna change the radius because it's slightly too big. One is too small, two is okay. 1.5 and, yep, 1.5. Uh, yeah, that's fine, I guess. So let's just go into convert to editable poly. Let's turn that back in. We're just gonna push that a little bit so it's not too much there. Should be fine. Uh, now we are going to create a very small box again. Actually, lazy way, we're just gonna grab that here because it's basically a box or will be soon. And in a few seconds, you will see what will happen. Okay, and here. So. 
it is not ideal with the um, with the blueprints on the top in fact I agree but we kind of need set blueprints to make stuff so go into border modes and just press shift and drag there should be okay let's head back here here okay Um, that's not normal. I'll just have to reduce the size manually later. Okay, good. Yeah, we're gonna have to smooth for the um, line here, or I mean the cylinder. It's definitely not perfect. Uh, we are going to grab. That or actually easier for us. That perfect. Just grab that. I just delete you. Make that slightly smaller. Ready. We're going to push that a little bit down. I think we're good now. Of course, we'll require a few adjustments, but it's fine. So let's actually just select those two. Oh, okay. That was dumb. So we're gonna make that a little bit less big. Let's do the same on the other side. I think I should have selected a bigger radius, but it's fine, I guess. In fact, that should be set to gray. Okay, so yeah, actually I think the radius here should be definitely bigger. So I'm actually redo that part. Um, yes, I have to. So, like I said here, you go straight, you go down. Mm, 
the line tool gives you a lot of customization possibility and makes your life way easier to make custom forms easily and fast when you just use a modifier like I did so for example sweep or extrude it depends on what you are trying to do all right it's there it goes so we select this one and we going to fill it um hide so i said fill it there we go nope it's too big and hide i'm just gonna keep that and that and hand select the rest let's get back to the line so fill it come on Let's see if I can smooth it. It is definitely chamfer. Later. <coughs> yeah, I'll just do that later because, well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sweep that thing. Sweep cylinder. And this time we're gonna pick a very nice radius of two. And even 2.5. Yes, 2.5 should do it. Convert to animal poly. We'll just grab the whole thing and smooth this. So we try and make it in the center as well. that works just fine so let's detach that okay and attach that and that we just make everything gray we grab everything and we pull it down just a little bit all right. Do I want to? Yeah, I absolutely do. I'm gonna um, reduce the amount here.
now I find it to be a little bit too wide. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Sometimes I'm just very being picky, so don't mind me. That's why I spend a little bit longer to make a model. But yeah. Anyway, let's let's just leave it that way. So we're just gonna grab the facts here. So from Craig, there is one in here. Another one that should be here. Another one in here. I'll just leave it like that. That should be enough. Don't need six spots. <clears throat> so we are going to make what? Door handle of that, that, that. Okay, let's grab that. Create a copy. Okay. And let's scale it down. That will be our flashlight, slash fluid light, scene light. So let's grab what first? The U. And then we just press shift to make it smaller. Actually, I'm just grabbing that to make it smaller, or at least like that. No, do not look right. Okay, let's just cap that. And let's try and chamfer that thing to say, okay, it's not what I was expecting. Okay, then let's do it manually. Then we are just slightly going to So 
So we just make something generic that looks good enough. Basically, that's your goal here. Okay, I'll just stop at this point and oh, right, border and cap. That's fine by me. Now let's select all those edges using the loop tool and let's slightly chamfer that. Okay, that works just fine. Now let's grab that, make it smaller. Okay. He did not work. So convert to vertex. No, convert to edge. No, didn't work. So plan B, we delete the face. We grab uh, that. We cap it. So we just recreate a face, but this way we are able to easily select the um, edge. There, it's not ideal. Maybe I should just go manually here as well. Right, let's delete. Let's cap that. And now, hopefully, it should work just like it did for. Gosh, never makes my life easy. Okay, first, we're gonna cap. Okay, we go back into here and we try and show shit didn't work. All right, that's fine. We um, we at least we tried. Let's try in here. It's not ideal. Oops. Let's say four. No, we can't. All right, that that's fine. Actually, all right. We're just going to put it in here. Slightly out. All right, this way we get a nice low poly scene light. Which is obviously something we need, considering I already killed the poly count with the pumper. So yeah, that's definitely good for me to try and watch out the damn poly count. We'll just 
different at a smooth Okay, no smooth. We'll just write the smoothness later. <coughs> it's really it's just the inside that needs to be. Um, okay, I'll, I'll just take care of that later. Let us drag that a little bit. Here and here. So if needed, we can definitely make the size um, bigger. But yeah, right now this seems to be just fine. Eventually we'll like a little bit. All right, looks fine enough. All right, that worked. So we've done that. I've done that. The door handle. Just trying to uh, remember. Okay, I said I would also make the roll-up door on the rear. So obviously it's a normal compartment door, but I'm not making that. So yeah, so I'm just gonna grab that, that, no actually the middle one. And that, don't think I forgot anything. No, I did not. All right, so we're gonna, Press shift. Whoa, what is you? Oh, I know what it is. It's the um, locker thing here. So let's just detach. You, 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 and you. Four objects. We're good. Okay, we are going to rotate that 90 degree. Okay. Don't freak out. We will, of course, adjust the size of the um, of the thing because I know it's a little bit too much. You start here. Okay. First, hi. You're kidding me. Where is. Okay, we're missing something. Yep. I forgot to grab. to agree we make that transparent we reselect everything we get it to a more suitable location so like I said I spent a lot of time making the roll-up door so to not kill the video which is already an hour 50 down uh, I, I just cut that part out so yeah, I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll just link the video tutorial on how I made the roll-up door. So we are simply I think this should be okay. 
or maybe I just pull it too much. Make it transparent. We fall down here. Fair enough. Let's delete that. Make it properly. Next step is to reduce the width. I think this should be enough. Here looks fine as well. Of course, if I attached everything together, I just do that at once. No need to edit every single object individually. But I like to make things complicated for me. So yeah, that's why. Here. Here. Sorry, good. We're just trying to adjust everything the way it should be. All right, that's just fine. Yes, and yes, perfect. I don't have to touch that part. And the locker is where it should be. So now we are actually going to make the um, compartment. Mm. I think I'm being lazy here, so I'm just gonna go with that. Connect two edges where are they okay that didn't work nope okay okay it's not working so lazium will not be <coughs> yeah, of course why make my life easier, buddy? So, let's use the cat tool and just cat for we will adjust everything manually just like we did before. Okay, and whoops, I did not see. 
Okay. So we click on it. Facts. Why? Why? X. Okay, that is not working. That is actually easy. Yeah, that's something I forgot to tell you. Depending on the viewport, it actually changes. The um, axis changes. Just if you don't know, just in case. I'm giving you the info. Anyway. I think this is alright. So let's just put everything in place all right so you should go I said this is the first one. Alright, that should work nicely. So we actually create that. On the bottom it looks just fine. On the side it looks okay. It looks okay, so we're good. Minus 60. It is. Okay, so now let's say we hide that. We have a blueprint. No, I'm kidding. We have a an actual bay, so we can actually stash stuff stuff. All right. So we're done with that. That was uh, worth it. We we actually made good progress for just one day. Uh, no, I will not start making the right side yet well for good because basically i'll just be copying the roller door i just made and make the wheel part mm. let's quickly try and add more details here so i made that 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 i think i'm going to make that there 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 Okay, that should work. Now, we are going to... Oh, I see now. That's probably for the best. So, we just, like we did, chamfer five we see that's why I'm telling you you need blueprints if you want to be accurate because right now I'm trying to do it through a different perspective and it makes things a little bit harder to make okay anyway we need a rectangle So we just draw a nice rectangle, let's say a corner of three. It will be a nice 10, 40, 38, 37. That works. I 
instead of that, I'm just gonna set that to two. Oh, not you. So we're gonna convert that to an editable poly here. Shift, we make it true. We're gonna duplicate it. Here seems to be a nice one. And then there is a third one, which is a baby one. Supposed to be much smaller. Yep, that looks legit. There we go. So now we grab our box. Actually, this one is supposed to be the same size. Just need to improve the placement so everything is well placed. All right, that worked. So, what I was going to do is I go here into compound, probolean, start picking. Uh, nope, it's not what I was going for. Extraction, there we go. This is okay. That's what I was going for. Convert to edible poly. That was way faster and easier. Okay. So now we've made that. So we just need to make something else. I didn't select it. I'm gonna go on the other side here. Um, label. So we're gonna grab that. Go here. I need to remember how I actually did that. Oh, let me grab my reference again. Yep, that's definitely smaller. So you. is just fine. Okay.
Okay, that should do the trick. Just gonna grab that flip. There we go. That's how it should actually be. <clears throat> yeah, I just noticed that as I was uh, working on that. So we're trying to make something low poly, but that looks decent. Go. So now we're going to grab the bridge tool here and here. Okay. Almost done here. Uh, where do I want to put you? I kind of stop explaining what I'm doing, but yeah, you people are smart, so you can figure that out. Plus, it's basically just using the same tools over and over again. So yeah, you can definitely understand what I am doing here. We'll place that in the middle, make it slightly smaller, actually. Come on. Oh, it's freezing. I think that's the uh, autosave. It's fine. Yep, it was the uh, autosaving failure. Anyway, we've got that here. Whoops, everything's gone. Okay, that will be fine enough for enough. We finally need just one piece and we're done. And I'm talking about a nice circle. Um, right.
right, so one point five is definitely enough. Convert to a poly. Fair. Okay, we're good to go. So it's low poly, but yet looks decent enough. Upside is we will be able to just copy and paste it every, everywhere it should go. So yeah. I'm just gonna grab that circle and make it bigger. So it actually fits. Therefore, I need to move that. Good. Well, that took us quite a lot of time to make that, especially with me going the wrong way three times. That's not helping. Holy shit, 20k for the poly. Whoops. Yep, I definitely killed the poly count. Anyway, let's. Oh, I forgot to attach the circle. There, problem. Solved. Yep, it's fine. I have the right size, kinda. So, yeah, we're good. So, let's just place this one where it should be. Basically here, place it here. I'm trying to place it correctly. There. Okay, I'm not touching it. So yeah, we'll just duplicate it a few times as necessary. Actually, I may just yeah try and make that slightly smaller. Okay, now we are actually done with that. Mm. I kind of want to try that. Okay, I'll just show you for the animation later. So I'm not going to duplicate it because first I need to apply an animation on it and then I can duplicate it easily. So we've done the footsteps, we've done the, the um, roll of door, flashlight, I mean scene light. Yep, we made good progress and that wasn't that bad. Now we could eventually make that small pipe thing on the side. 
this way we would actually be definitely done yeah I'm trying to think fast so yeah basically it is just about making things once and copying them so it shouldn't take that long anymore the hardest part was definitely what we've been through already what I've been through already so yeah Okay, maybe before I stop for the day, I'm just gonna make that real quick. It's not that complicated. So how does it work? Box with a little bit here. I'm gonna make that quickly, it's not that complicated. Just a box that goes here. We just try and align that properly. So extrude five. Then we select the top and again extrude, say 15, 14, 13, 14 it will be. And we just grab, okay that's actually a little bit too big here. It just goes like that and that. If I'm correct. Even smaller. I just want to select the damn edge. There we go. Isn't that complicated. And we are simply chamfering those. Okay. So we've done that. Okay. Now I just need one, two, there. So we're just gonna grab that, add two. Okay, 
basically we just select all of those and we extrude them nice and easy we make that flat that's about it this way we yeah we're just gonna leave it that way I mean basically it's how it is kinda except it, it just goes from here but I made it from here and it will help us uh, save some poly because well I need that so we're just gonna grab that and duplicate it there we go yeah I don't see anything else I mean I see some sort of handles but that would be weird yeah, I'm not gonna make those to help save poly once again so yeah I'm just gonna stop for today that was already a great one So it almost looks like a just a few more steps and we should be done soon. So I'm just trying to analyze real quick. Copy. Actually, we're going to really make real quick the wheels and there. Okay, so I know it's a hundred and thirty six. So yeah, just draw a circle. And there are a few added will follow me. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I don't uh, do something I should not. But I honestly don't see anything wrong. So yeah. So let's isolate those two. Actually, hold on. Let me grab the right view. Yeah, there is definitely that. I may actually want to do that before I start making the wheels. 
So yeah. Okay, I'm just quickly gonna make it then. Um, so we're, we're just, I think we're the same size. Kinda. Okay, so just grab the left blueprint, make it uh, right. So we're just gonna change the material. There we go. Left become this right. We need to make that a 190 degree. Oops, that's you. Yes, it fits exactly the way it should. So we're good. So let's quickly add the planes and stuff we're supposed to. Quickly, let's detach. Okay, we've got that set up. We're just gonna remove the middle edge because we don't need it. Uh, right, we need to align properly that. Same for you. Oops, why? Okay, we're good. Um, we've got that, we've got that. I think the easier way for me is to just show you how to use the mirror tools if we make life easier as well. So we'll just grab everything we need. We've got five objects selected. Let's do the very same for here. Okay. Now we create a copy. 
Okay. Just go into the modifier and pick up mirror. Then you just specify. Okay, well, that already happened. So basically, you can pick which way you want this to be mirrored. And uh, yeah, convert to edible poly. Okay. So. Oops. The blueprint is a little bit off, so we're actually at the very right position, don't worry. With that said, I just need to get rid of all of that, as well as this one, and this should be okay. Okay, this is okay, and we won't have to touch the rest, which is definitely an upside at that point. We've got that, it's just fine. Cool. Let's quickly do the same here. supposed to be the same size or not How come I cannot select stuff? Whatever, we're fine.
All right, we're good. Now let's quickly do what I was supposed to do first. I would just grab you. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, now we can go here and here. Just fine and fine and fine. All right, we're good. Minus sixty. Minus seventy, actually, because we've got. Oh, we don't. Actually, we do. So it's fine. So minus 70 it is, okay. Okay, we're good now. So I just quickly make that and we're good. So That should do the trick. Let's break that, pull it in here. Okay, this is okay. Now, same thing here. It's literally the same. Um, form. Okay, let's select both so we can actually work faster. So we're gonna go insets one and then another inset. So actually just once. Probably this one we go minus seventy, okay. 
Now let's grab first we grab all of those, we delete it. Same on Java one, that that basically we just grab that okay and then that let's manually make that a nice little compartment door okay we are going to cap that Okay, so now we've done that, we are actually going to make the small um, door handle, so cat, just make a nice little square. Let's quickly extrude, let's say two. One point five sounds better. And set of one, okay, and extrude minus one point five. Nope, my bad, I forgot one step. Crag two, let's just make those a little bit closer. That's 61, fair enough. We'll grab those two, extrude, okay. Just redo that here as well. So we're just gonna go there, there, okay. Hmm. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm just lazy. So delete, you will come here. Okay. okay. Now we are going to use symmetry and not mirror. on earth is it? Found it. So if we scrub that and Okay. Oh no, 
right we want to make it like a little bit bigger Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to grab that and put it here. Okay, we've got that part done. Hmm. Okay, I may want to grab that. Fair enough. I'm deal. I'm gonna make my life easier. I'm just gonna grab that and simply paste it here. It's definitely symmetry I should have used. Well, 
Where's this taking Tom? All right, we're good. So I thought I'd be playing more five cats, going to compound objects, probolian, start picking and pick that big circle. And there we go. Ta -da. Okay, now we're gonna convert that into edge. Remove that and move that. Okay, we only have. Alright. Press shift, drag it to the left. That should be enough. I should be doing that through the left side because here the blueprint is not ideal but that should do it <coughs> so scale it down by pressing shift as well and just adjust it gonna make it a little bit longer there it should be better okay we select all those um, edge so just click on one then loop and then chamfer say six seven okay seven works six whoops Okay, nine works fine by me. So yeah. Let's just remove that ugly thing. Actually, no, let's not remove those because I kind of need it. What I will be, oh, fair enough. Oh, shit. Whoops, <laughs> I forgot it was not attached to that side Ugh. it's fine I'll just do the very same thing on the other side yeah that's a very problematic part when you forget to attach back something 
Anyway, well, I finished that small side here. Um, okay, I just need to add uh, details on the top. On the rear, a few things more. Okay, let's quickly take care of that problem. Let's go back into 180 degree. And change um, change it back to left. It looks like I got it right. Wait, wait. Oops. Wrong one. So U is the rear. Yeah, no, that's correct. So right, so you are left. Okay. Let's make sure. Yup. Double save. Okay. Well, let's do it again. Okay, one forty six. Just gonna make sure it is correct. Yeah, we're good. to grab you and you had not selected wait what oh it's fine so I have you let's go probably in start picking okay Did work on your side. Fair enough. Just gonna grab that. And detach it from the rest and hopefully it will work. I think it did. Let's see. Yeah, it did. Whoa, that's a lot of foes. Okay, it's not as clean as the other side, but it worked. So, 
He's definitely not gonna complain. Okay, well, three people not a deal. Let's do that shit again. Sorry for cursing. Kind of getting tired. But yeah. Should be good. Then we scale it down. Then press shift. Oops. Okay, do not seem to be working. And you know what? That actually perfectly fine. This way I will be able to drag that in here. I had to do that anyway later. Okay. And here I will actually grab this whole thing here. Perfect. Okay, now we know. Now we simply create a copy. We turn that hundred and eighty degrees. That is the confirmation I actually got it right because it shows up at the exact same spot. All right, well, we are good. Well, we can attach that. Well, after three long hours, this is what we get. It starts to look like a fire truck. Now, good thing for you, I kept the three hours, no, two ish hours I spent making the roll up doors so the left side is now done rear side have all of those details here I just need to add a few more things but it, lo it looks not bad for its first day Before I forget, let's quickly take care of that. That's what I would do, so let's do it. 
a little bit of very nice two ish. Can that be too big? Uh, I like it's fine. Now we're gonna grab that. It's likely, oops, my bad. Look at it, how it is supposed to be. So that will be the metallic part, what I'm doing right now. All right, looks decent enough. Maybe I'm just gonna grab that. Alright, we're good. That's all we needed. So, yeah. That side is done. We just need to add the pipe and, of course, a few more details, but that's just fine. So, we will just make those details later. All right, let's add more details to our model. Um, we are going to make the wheel check thing here, a small pipe in here and uh, more stuff. Okay, let's start with that, it's, uh, quite an easy one. Basically, we're just gonna create a box because it's a big box. Say 40, no, 45. For the width, uh, let's try 55, 54, no, 56. And let's say 100 for the height. Let's place it correctly. Okay, that should be good. Convert to editable poly. Uh, right now, our goal is to But I select the left and right edges on the bottom and chamfer them properly. So a good five would work. Maybe a okay, six works just fine. We've just Okay, let's make five edges. 
and let's um, hide the selection. We're gonna remove that top part. We don't need it. As well as that. No, select just that face and inset of two. Well, yeah, one point five is uh, better. Let's remove that and there. Again, okay, we select that face and we extrude it. Basically, we push it inside. Uh, so minus hundred, and we can delete that and that. Okay, we've got the folding part. Looking good, right? Now we are going to make actual wall shape. So just select that uh, face. And simply duplicate it using shift and drag. Now select that, lower it a little bit. Let's see if we can. Okay, use this. <coughs> so let's do it by hand. So we select the border, we shift and drag, and we click. Um, So now let's chamfer that. A good pen would work. Okay. From the top view, we're just going to select a few edges. Maybe not those two. Connect, let's say, let's add six edges. Oops, well, I guess that will be it. We're just gonna adjust them manually. So into vertice mode for easier control. Okay. Now into polygon mode. Let's just pick those two and simply extrude it just a little bit. Let's say ten or five. Okay, let's go with six. We're going to round that a little bit. And to do that, just pick up those edges. And or not, may not work, sadly. So, fair enough. In that case, let's try with this one. If chamfer don't work, it's not such a bad thing. Although it did work. Okay, let's say three and only three edges. We can save some point in that instance. Yep, I may. Okay, before we do that, let's just reduce the, um, the way it is because it's a little bit too much actually. Okay, good. And now we can chamfer. Okay, 
So basically that will be our wheel chuck for fire truck. We don't really care that much about the detail here because it will be under the truck. People won't actually see things. So you can definitely save up some polys doing that. As you can see, I'm just slightly reducing the extra height. All right, we're good. So we're supposed to have that in here, in here. So let's position it correctly. So here looks just fine. Shift and drag it. Okay, let's just attach to our one because the scene will be more clear. So that we have. Yeah, we are also going to make the small taillight thing here. Shouldn't take that long. <laughs> Uh, well, let's actually make that. So we're gonna start with a cylinder. Reduce the height sides to one, <coughs> a good radius of seven. Now let's actually make it six and eight for the heights. Come on. Okay, that looks good enough. So convert to edit equal poly and we're gonna select a few polygons. Okay, we are going to extrude that to 50. <clears throat> 45 which will be let's also reduce the scale on the y-axis or not actually Yeah, I'm just gonna make mine like that. Looks decent enough. That's what we have. It's maybe a little bit too much actually. So let's reduce the size. Um, okay, now on each side we are going to select those two um, face, uh, polygons in sets of 1.5 or 2 1.7 works better and then we're gonna extrude that to 4 3 
Yeah, three point five looks good. Now let's select all the uh, edges. And let's try and chamfer that. Perfect, it's working. Two point five looks good. Yeah, two point five looks good. We're just going to scale that down like that, and now we're going to chamfer. Yeah, it looks much better. <coughs> Okay, we've got our tail lights. So let's make that plus. So I'm just assigning random colors. I mean, random, not really. But yeah, it's, it's not something that uh, actually matters. I just do it for the fun. So yeah, <laughs> let's just eventually reduce the size of the, um, of the thing. It looks slightly too much actually. So just a little bit. Okay, good. So while we are at it, let's just create a copy. Now actually I'm gonna show you a different way. So to make your life easier just going to the symmetry modifier click on mirror on the y. yep it's definitely on the y no it's an x and let's just use that thing okay now we've got it properly set under our set as well so that is done. See, nicely executed. Right here and right here. We're just making sure it do not overlap with something. Now we're good. So now let's move on and make the rear bumper. do that let's create a new box so usually rear bumpers on trucks is made out of a box so basically just use the extrude and uh, chamfer tool that's usually what you will be using of course on a car you'll be using extrude chamfer and connect tool mostly so yeah actually we could have gone with the um, with that it's already made for us let me check. I haven't noticed at first. Yeah, it's definitely uh, already made. So, okay, you know what? Let's hide the box for a moment and work with that because it's already set up at the right position, kind of. So it may actually make things easier for us. So yeah, see the blueprints are set up correctly. So when you um, here it's on the on the right position, and here it shows up at the right position. So yeah, 
Anyway, let's um, in our case we're going to okay. So we extruded a vanilla here. Now let's extrude again. Up until here. But we're supposed to make that smaller. Okay, good. See those small lines? That's where it should stop. So yeah, this is okay. Let's just remove the top edges because they are useless for us. Actually, same goes for those ones, except the two here. Move and then. same here. We just keep the last ones, but not the one in the middle. There, we got a cleaner. Okay, we do the same operation on the bottom. Okay, we're good. <coughs> uh, well, that was done fast. Uh, yeah, we will add the small lighting, warning lights uh, later. We just made the bumper real quick. So, moving on to the next step. Let's. So in 20 minutes we made the bumper, the wheel chucks on the side. So that's not bad. Also could have been a little bit faster. Now let's do what? Yeah, let's make that pipe. So we're finally done with this thing. We are going to create a new cylinder right here okay, yeah don't worry if you cannot see for just you just need to create it and then we'll just edit it manually so you start here and a radius of 18 16 17 Yeah, radius should be something like um, 550, 560, 570, uh, maybe actually 565. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's finally convert that into an editable poly. So we're going to select that face and finally <coughs> okay let's extrude that say for Yep, that works perfectly. And let's extrude that slightly. Don't forget to make it local normal. 10, 6, 5, 4. So we're just trying to cover the height. So surely it will be. like that. Let's quickly grab our reference picture. So 
Okay. And okay. So yeah, we will then just select one of those faces, use the inset tool to make the outer parts. But in the meantime, let's keep going. Let's select the, that face here and let me show you what I'm doing actually. Inset of, let's say two. And extrude it. So as you can see at that point, I'm just going custom. All right, minus three. Now let's actually create, make that look like a pipe. One point five will work, and you just push that to the very middle. Actually, we need to have that go out. There. Of course, we will delete that. So just don't care about it yet. Bit 14, extrude it with a very small extrusion, just like 1.5, not just one actually. And yeah, no more extrusion needed. It's really just about pulling it a little bit there. Okay, we're good. So now let's make that inset. Okay, 3.5 it will be. So we can delete that, grab that, and make it fit. There we go, we got a pipe here. So I'm just gonna make it blackish. Yeah, we don't see that many details, but you get the um, ID. I have to push that a little bit to the left so it fits properly. A little bit more to the left. Okay, that works fine. Yes, right, that thing here. So we just select one here, one here. Just where you feel it should be. Okay, so we are going to Inset those. Okay, one, two. One point five. That works. Yep, 
that works just fine in my opinion oh we actually had the blueprint here but yeah that's basically how it should look so let's leave it like that okay that is done uh, well we are actually that whoops and so save okay so yeah well the left side is indeed very done Just checking to make sure. Yes, I like the way it is. We may eventually add a flashlight here. I mean, a light, my bad. Or eventually a light bar. We already have the light bar here. So yeah, I may add a scene light in here we'll see because the one here is definitely not useful considering there is already one here buzzer or model actually don't have one there so yeah uh, I'm gonna show you quickly um, how to animate a model or actually something animation works with that key, um, that key thing here you can see. Basically, it's a timeline, and you say at that point the position of that object should be here, and at that point the position should be here. So I'm gonna animate those footsteps. Come on. So. We've got it here. Okay, so basically it works. So I uh, went ahead and adjust, I think the pivot only, and I place it where the rotation should be. Okay, so it should be right here. Now to show you more in width, come on, I'm just gonna select those two. So the rotation part uh, will be here. So basically how to work, as you can see, oops. So lowered, right. Don't isolate. Lower, raised, lower, raised, see? So obviously it should start on a raised position so let's make that a good 90 degree. Eventually, let's actually make that like that. And make sure you do not overlap. Can I do actually? So let's actually edit that, make it wider. Just like that. Okay, let's see if it works better. Yes. Okay, cool. So it should start, okay, let's make it that way, a little bit lowered, just, okay, like that. So we're gonna start the animation with that being up. So we set an auto key. Okay, so then we move the timeline to 10. Okay, and at that point, let's lower that to 85 degree. Then from 10 to 15, we'll leave it where it is. 
and then from 15 to 20, we just, oh, whoops. I think I have it wrong. Lowered. Yeah, my bad. I may actually start that whole thing. Not a problem. So, we set a key here. Come on. We set a key at zero. Whoops. Yeah, I'm kind of used to auto key. So, actually, just come on. Come on. Set key. One in here. Then at five. We set another key, then that takes basically five seconds, so we just lower it, set key, so idle up, down, idle down, and from 50 to 20, we get back up. And set key. Okay, now it should work. The way it should. Okay, so idle, down, down, idle, up. See? Uh, yeah, five seconds is definitely not too fast. So that looks just fine. Now, let's duplicate that. Oops. Close two. Duplicate it in here. And here. That looks kind of fine. So we could use the symmetry tool here, but I'm just gonna go manually because it's not that complicated to set. As you can see, we've got everything. So the reason we did not attach each object is because if that the animation is being played in here, we don't want all the objects to be playing the animation at once. Of course, now uh, everything is moving in the same time, but in your in your game engine or whatever you're making the model with for. You can make it so only one object um, get to move. So we have said that I think, no, never mind. Okay, that's about it. We're done with that part. So we're, we will then duplicate that in here as well. Uh, but we'll do that later when we take care of the pen panel. So so, okay, what else should be done now? Trying to think quick. We also have to make the traffic advisor in here, the hose, the actual hose. It's a well and M6 LED on the, well basically the rear lights. And the small hose connector. Let's start by making uh, Okay, let's start by making the hose So here we want to make something low poly So 
let's just grab that plane. So basically the plane, the polygon of the host bed and drag it here. Let's make it in a way to fit the hose size. Let's say like that should work. Let's see. That works fine here. Now let's just grab that edge here and drag it a little bit. And then let's okay. Now just select those uh, edges here and we are going to chamfer those. Four, fair enough. Four point five seems to be just fine. Now let's duplicate that. We're just gonna lower that small edge. So it basically just like that. Okay, that looks much better. And now let's duplicate that a lot of times. So right now we do not look like a hose uh, from the eyebrow review, but we're gonna duplicate it a lot of times. And this way we will only see that last part here to keep it real. Actually, we can even delete that to save Polly. Okay, well, I'll delete it later just in case we actually need it. Now let's just go ahead and duplicate that in here. And again. So obviously we have to manually adjust the size so we don't have any actual gaps Okay, that is 
is good enough. Now, obviously, we cannot have all the hose at the same level. So we're just going to slightly edit their position just to recreate the um, actual hose environment. This time should go slightly up. There. So let's simply duplicate that as much as we need to. That's decent enough. In here, we should only have one. Okay, let's make it bigger. And actually, here. There, we've got our host packed. Actually, I wanted to make a little something special here. So let's put that in here. Okay, we can also adjust, let's say, the um, positions by left and right, just so everything is not at the same um, place, just like real life. Let's grab the top ones as well. There. So we've got a nice looking um, host pack here. As you can see, do not look linear and boring. Some are up to the left, others are slightly to the right. So yeah, that's that just yeah. Let's actually keep adding some uh, differences. Okay, not this one. Mm 
Lou can also make some uh, push down the uh, inside more than the others. So we're just trying to make things different here. So this one should be pushed a little bit. Close in like that. Out for you. And then okay. Okay, that looks much better, see. So right now it looks kinda empty, but we'll place that correctly in a few seconds. And you'll see. Let's say we place that in here. Which leads should start around here. Obviously, not here. Not here. Let me. Where should it start? Okay, so that's just fine. We cannot know. Let's go ahead and check the first. The tab view do not indicate anything. Should start around here ish. And here is just fine. Yep. And we therefore have to modify that. So let's quickly attach those. We just push a little bit here. Slightly problematic because we're supposed to see all of that. So we're just trying to make it look better. It looks everything but better, or at least that small angle. So I actually may just go custom here again. Okay, looks more decent. Let's see now what it looks like. 
this chick and not see let's bring the person a little bit well in that case I guess we're just gonna push the hood a little bit to not restart doing stuff okay that looks just fine we can see that there. Okay, that looks good enough. So we're just gonna duplicate that. Whoops. Nope, not the right one. Actually, it's good. Okay, we uh, we've got it. We're just gonna remove some that should not be there. Basically, all of those. There's two. We may even um, lower those. Yeah, we are absolutely going to do that. There, we've got a nice and legit looking host bed. Remember that box we create? Oh, did I delete it? I don't think so. Nope, I did not. Perfect. So you come here. Either I um. Make that a hose. No, we gotta just make it so convert to editable poly. We're gonna make it fit with that right here. So it goes up here. Now we select that face in set. Let's say two, three, five. Mm. Okay, let's go with five. Now extrude it just a little bit. Say two, no, one point five. Then let's actually extrude it again. This time, let's make it four. Yeah, three point five. And we extrude it again. That's weird. Yep, here.
and we make it back seven. Okay, now we grab that instead of three point five. We're gonna add another one. This time it will be just one. Okay. We select post and created um, polygons minus ten. And it should be just fine. Uh, trying to think here. Yeah, should be good. I know. So we put it here, we make it grayish, and we place it correctly. Eventually, let's say here, or even here. So that that would be a metallic box, basically. I just need to add a opening feature. So we just have to quickly adjust that. Oops. Come on. Let's say that. Or good. Okay, I'll just add the um, locker uh, later, All right. locker slash door handle. Basically, when I will be making that, I'll just grab it from here and duplicate it instead of doing it multiple times. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> Already one hour and well, time flies. So now we're gonna make um, the small hose connection here. So let's get that going. I think it would be easier to just start no actually we're just gonna create a cylinder so that is version 2 and version one will be the uh, big one. Let me just duplicate it as of now, so it's uh, ready. Actually, let's move that so I can see it on the other. Whoops, uh, not you. Here, so 
I can actually uh, see it. Should work. Let's make it at 30. Okay, we're good. Convert to editable poly. Here. Should be okay. We will just add some chamfer here. as well as here. Let's actually ring, so it's like just all those inner we just gonna read you oops zero. What did I do? Oh, I unselected accidentally. Ring connect. Yeah, minus 45 should be just fine. Now we select those inner polygons, we make it minus one. Then you Big inset of four point five. We we'll extrude it to two three. Should work. Let's scale it <coughs> down. Okay, let's just put convert to edge. And we're gonna try and chamfer that. That works quite fine actually. Okay. So basically that part can be uncapped, if I'm correct. I'm just trying to follow the um, blueprints here. So finally, last but not least, we grab that and the same one in here. And let's bevel those five. Works much better. Let's just make that slightly 
here, but it's kind of small. There. And here. And just make it more on the inside. Awesome. Last last step, we uh, are going to take care of that part. I'm gonna make the little surrounding here. Do that extrude, let's say two-ish. Mm. Yes, two, no, 1.5, that would work. We grab everything, extrude to we just delete that, grab that, and again we extrude it to we grab that and again extrude of two. Actually, make that slightly bigger. Now let's remove the inner polygons to save some polys. Okay. So now we've got two possibilities to make that um, bend. Let's try, yeah, let's try the um, FFB 4 by 4 control point. Nah, do not look that great. I'm just, okay, let's just save in case we need to go back. Let's convert to editable poly. We're simply going to add an edge. Make it go straight. Come on. <coughs> Oops. It looks kind of weird, to be honest. So Those two should be straight anyway. Yep. 
Yep, that works fine actually. <coughs> okay, turned on well. Just make sure. Yep, I uh, I like it. Could eventually try and make it smaller. Just like that. Yeah, that looks fine in my opinion. So let's click OK. All right. So we place it in here. Actually, make it smaller. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to uh, think of something else. Okay, we uh, have placed it here. So I'll just create a nice copy in here. We can also actually rotate it. Or not. Should have done that before. So basically it was to um, move the small thing here but I'm afraid it is not possible now, so it's it's fine. We'll leave. Make it slightly down. Okay, good. I'll just move that later. Looks fine in my opinion. Okay, I'm still supposed to have a big yeah, I guess I'll just make it in here. It looks even more like a fire truck now. But like I said, I need to move that a little bit. Okay, now it looks better. Fair enough. <coughs> um, okay, so now we make that huge first connection. seems to be a reasonable radius. Maybe too much. So eighteen it will be. So convert to a poly. We grab that. Extrude of twenty. So 
then on top of that, we're going to add two edges. Say extrude of five. Well, let's say four. Let's plug it. Set four. Okay, fair enough. Now again, we make. So we're going to make back a little bit closer. Okay, minus 35. No, minus 40. Looks okay. Minus 5 works just fine. Let's grab that, that, more that one. Instead of one and let's bevel those to five or six with a minus zero point eight. That looks much better. Okay, now let's add some chamfer. One is too much, so zero point seven seems to be just fine. Okay. That will work. Okay, I just need to grab that and actually extrude it to well, let's say one. Okay, and same thing goes for here, loop, chamfer, Let's actually grab that. Same thing than before. We <coughs> actually it's more. Yes. So we ring connect. We only create one edge. Then minus fifty. No, it's actually three. We that should minus minus two. Well, I just make sure. Okay, that's the right direction. Let's say minus one. We'll just do that manually. Fair 
should work. Basically, it's just to see that we actually have some sort of opening here. Last but not least, let's not forget the thing on the middle. Okay, that's done. Let's actually make it gray. Same deal than before. We need to um, Actually, it seems to be directly like that. So Alpha did not directly follow the blueprint by um, making it by making the rotations and everything. As you can see, basically it fits everything I've done. So yeah. Come on. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to make those two a little bit wider. Let's just go back into the flat position. So I need you a little bit like that therefore I move you and we grab all of the followings okay it looks much better now Let's simply extrude that. Let's say ten. Okay. Let's just make it flat on the bottom. This one five, we make this one three. No, let's make it two point five. Okay. Let's 
Now if we select both edges. And we just chamfer the entire thing. Plenty. Let's just add one more. All right. We are almost done. Okay, maybe I should actually remove those two small baby thing and put this one instead. Because I am not a big fan. Or I just place it here. Because I need to add another thing here plus the rear view camera for the driver. That's quite a lot of things. No, actually it's not possible unless I Yeah, I'm just gonna remove two of those and put this one instead. In my opinion, that will be the best move. But again, I would have to move that a little bit. Trying to think here, or I could just no, that's not an option, that would be ugly. That I don't touch. Slight running out of option here, so yeah, we will go here. Therefore, I move those two. Yeah, when you don't follow the blueprints and you go custom like I'm doing, um, you often have to restart. Not fun, but at least you get a nice final product. Okay, that's much better. Therefore, I remove you and you. Okay, okay, okay. I may even make that smaller. Because right now it's a little bit too big.
I really like it here. So let's not touch it anymore. Moving on to our next step, we are going to create a new box that will be the size of that empty space. Maybe I should actually leave it mm. trying to think here. I'm gonna leave it flat. Okay, so let's first chamfer that. And works just fine. Now we can wrap that. I don't think it worked. Right. Hopefully it will work the way it's supposed to. Yes, good. Just make slightly smaller. It didn't work the way it's supposed to. So I'm sure, but we've only Fair enough. That should do the trick. No, 
uh, we need to add one more thing in Word. Oh no, two, three. We need to add the rear view camera. We need to add the rear turn signal and over lighting stuff. And the plate, or is it? Yeah, the plate part. So let's start with. Oh, and the traffic advisor too. So that's actually quite a lot of work we still have to do here. So let's grab that. Let's directly select the edges. We don't need to detach. So connect. Let's add two edges. Make them fit. Advisor, then in our two edges already set perfectly. So now we need how many? Um, zero. We would like um, six, yes, two, two, and two. Okay, six edges. Right. We grab that, 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 and that. We inset them all. So two. Two point five seems to be correct. So now let's mm, I'm just gonna select those outer edges. Slightly extrude them. Maybe three ish. Nah, two point five is better. Just like those, we are going to pull them in. Not too much, obviously, because we don't have that much space. Now let's scale them down nice and easily. Convert to vertex. And now make a nice little thing out of that. Even three, five, nope, not gonna work. Okay, 3.2 works just fine. Or I could also, yeah, just leave it like that. Just Right, a, a nice square. That's also possible. Mm. Which one is best?
I cannot make up my mind. <coughs> better from there let's say um, a car right here okay that looks cool version first let's see what it looks like with the square version yeah I'm just gonna leave it square looks cleaner and will help save some poly Still gonna leave it like that. Okay, so yeah, we've got our traffic advisor done. When it will be textured, it will look much better. And yeah, I think that's done okay actually for the license plate i could just copy that because it basically looks yeah kind of The idea is to make that slightly bigger here, but I 
I don't want to restart, make a new box and everything. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it like that. Looks decent enough. Now let's place it here. Looks just fine. So let's scrub that and make it more flat like that. Well, I will after all have to make another box, so that will be the actual plate. Let's convert to able poly. Here, here, here. So with all the chamfer I'm using, I'm definitely not being game friendly. Also, I'm, I'm only 33,000 uh, poly with the entire, I mean, almost entire rear bumper part already done. So it's not that bad. Okay, that's our plate holder right here so that will be the uh, border and right on the inside will be the actual plate that we will texture on later so Okay. So 
so now we are supposed to make finally okay done 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 yeah we're, we're done well except the rear rear camera we'll take care of that later we're supposed to make the lights Um, okay, let's go ahead. So we're, we're just gonna make a few adjustments, a few last minute adjustments. <clears throat> um, okay, we are making a fact slightly bigger. Come on. So, oh, oops. okay. <clears throat> so we make it bigger. Actually, we we're just going to restart it completely. Let's see if I can save that here. Let's create a new box. Make it just like that and that. Okay, convert to readable poly. Let's put it at the right place. Here, here, This will not work. Uh, why? That's weird. In that case, let's just try and make one. Let's see if it works. Hmm. 
that and we'll just take out the part later. Test number two, even for if it's, it's the same thing, yeah. I figure. Um, I guess I could just try and add a second one. Let's see. I'm trying to think, add something. So I'm just trying to make a nice and smooth part. Think of something after I'm done with uh, that. I'm gonna go with four. Yeah, five looks much better. It's kind of messed up here, but it won't get noticed, so we're good. Actually, I was able to make a nice smooth corner here, so we should be good to go. So yeah, let's see how it looks from behind. That should do the trick.
Okay, we have now already done the door handle. Yeah, it looks a little bit better actually. Same goes in here. Now let's reduce the size of that little box. Okay, that should be good. Um, let's just make it a little bit less big here. Okay. Okay, this way we can add the camera. So let's just um, use the get tool here. Just a, a nice little cut. Let's quickly hide and select it, make sure everything is alright. Nope, everything is not alright. Let's try and create a second point for you. Nope, didn't work. Yep, that worked. The size is correct. And select that, everything is clean, we're good. <clears throat> so you just grab that and simply extrude minus 10. Let's see. Yep, minus 10 is definitely all right. So grab that face here. Let's actually pull it up way, way back here. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Go like that, go here like that. That should be good. Okay, we grab that border. We pull it up here and we cap. I think we're just gonna grab that little thing. Object, yes. Let's grab this.
grab it from here. Now we duplicate it really quickly. Let's make those smaller. Let's eventually cap that. Okay, that should be good. Now let's move that little box we just created properly. We're just going to make this a little bit smaller because they obviously don't are just way too small, too big. Actually, I need to attach everything. So, it goes here. Now, let's rotate it. Okay, that looks good enough for me. So we are done with our camera. Okay. So yes, I um, have been thinking and there's a little something I need to redo here. Let's just detach that. We get rid of that, okay. So, here. Oh, 
table. Oh, it's the element. It's like, wait, wait. Okay, so that's our limit. This is what I want. Let's quickly duplicate it. You are fired. <clears throat> Zero point three works much better. Now here, insets of zero point five. Just dragging it slowly here. And let's make that smaller. Oops, not you. You. This will be our actual plate once it's uh, textured. That looks much better. So after wasting time doing things again, we can actually try and make the um, lights. Mm, let's make a rectangle. Actually, I think the plate is right here. Anyway, that's fine. I just place it here. Anyway, we are creating a nice rectangle here. Let's move it to a more suitable location.
So let's extrude, make it one. Actually, make it three. Yeah, I'll just make it four, an extra four. We go here. Make it a little bit smaller. Then insets of yeah zero point five. Then actually is zero point three. An additional zero point three. Let's start over before the insets, make it eventually smaller. So a zero point two and another zero point two. That would make it super small. Find okay. Then another inset of Let's say zero point five. We graph everything. We pull it there. So that's the great part. Make that smaller. Okay, okay, then it goes to the side. Then that's the black border. And here is the actual. So we just make it slightly smaller. Okay, we then extrude that like that. Actually, it's fine, you know what? <laughs> Let's just pull it a little bit there.
that looks much better. Let me use my point of light. So basically this will be chrome, this will be black rubber, and this is the actual light. So let's see how it looks. Okay. okay, okay, the black rubber part and the lighting part. I'm just trying to <clears throat> add some volume to it. That's all I'm trying to do right now, but <clears throat> in order to edge, let's see if it would work with some chamfering. Yeah, I kind of like how it looks. I'll just leave it like that. It already looks cool enough. Um, yep. I'm just going to add a little bit of a chamfer here. Okay, so now we can actually see there is a nice angle. All right, we made that. Hold on, <coughs> let me see. I think um, I'm not gonna add the screws because that would require 
more vertices in poly. So later on I may add them, but not right now, because this can be done through texturing actually. So yeah, if I can save some poly, I'll definitely do it. Rear, left, brake, right. Okay. about it Yep, now it looks like a fire truck. So left side done. Rear check. And here is where I'll be working now. Um, yeah, let's make sure we didn't forget anything. Plate, light, flash, uh, light, that thing, the camera. Yes. Yep, we're good. Uh, here as well, I could definitely duplicate that light to here. Maybe I should also make that a little bit bigger because right now it seems to be small. Let's eventually make it a little bit bigger. Just like that. Is it still well placed? Okay, let's quickly bring the lights on the side.
All right, we are done on this side for good. The rear is also done. Now let's work on that side, which will be quite interesting actually. What we may want to do is to um, let's see. We're gonna detach that part to work easily on it. I didn't select that. Let's make sure there is nothing wrong with it. Eventually remove that. Should be around here. So right now what we're doing is the small thing, unless there is no such thing. Hmm. Actually, yeah, there is no such thing. Okay, we're better then. Control Z before I did all those steps. Okay. So basically, I uh, will have to from that extrude. Simply copy that and that here. Let's simply have that here. Now let's just edit that part. We just make it straight the way it should be. Uh, 
for actually easier. Let's not forget to quickly cap that over that. Let's just close that loop nice and easy and grab that box from here. Supposed to be um, from here, and so I said around here. Just make it a little bit smaller. And basically, we will be working with uh, that. that part we'll make that flat and we get that hidden inside just make sure to not get out get out on the other side okay we're good Grab that and simply pull it up. Yep, seems right. Goes here. Unless it actually goes there. Yeah, I think. So we're gonna leave that. We're just gonna need that again. I think I got it wrong. So I'm grabbing that. Here, copy, yes. If 
supposed to go right there. Here and here. So we just pull it down up until where the ladder is supposed to be. So basically up until here. Extrusion of let's say ten, and then we grab that. Yes, and it goes down so straight. That's actually how it's supposed to be. Now we just need to quickly fix the position of stuff. Um, we just go here. Here and here, here. And the other one is supposed to go a little bit smaller, I think, right? So basically the same size of those. Sounds about right. Now we we'll just grab that, pull it up, down. I go down just like that. And we're supposed to have, uh, so we have this one, we have that, 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 and there is another one here. Uh, 
And at that point, I just type surface. Now I'm going to. Uh, so instead. Instead of fifteen, and let's just um, let's actually select the red. Where is it? Man, whoops. There is a little bit of an issue here. <coughs> what is wrong? In that case, plan B. Strud five ish. Because in that case, I need to raise those two to the very top here. Grab that and that and make it a little bit smaller. Let's make it bigger here as well.
already is good. No, we can quickly add the um, ladder. So let's do so. Let's see. We're gonna start with a box. Here. Try to add a little poly. So it goes up to there ish. So it goes up there. Now what we can do is we grab the uh, edges here. So let's make that a 1.5. Okay. So just grab that here and duplicate it on the top. Okay. Also, we need a little. Oh, we cannot make sure the, right, the size is correct. But I think it is, it's not too big. Yeah, I don't think it's too big. So we grab it. Well. We shampoo that just 
for a bit. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ish, eleven. Okay, let's make that a twelve. So what's the, the approach here? So. That's a total of six. Maybe a little bit too much. Go there. Just there and then here. Okay, it's not really accurate, it's not the right size everywhere. Got three, nine. 11, 12, so actually we're good, kinda. Um, so that was part number one. Now we are going to duplicate that here. And make a third. Copy that will put here. Let's work from this view as well.
I'll change the pink to gray for the entire thing actually. Oh, right, three different copies. Finally, gray. So it's starting to look like something. Um, fair enough. So what's next? Maybe that whole thing here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's here. So we'll use the line tool here, here, make some sort of triangle, and we'll see. Let's see, um, maybe we'll just make that a little bit more like a triangle. So, okay, let's, actually let's grab everything. have to manually adjust the one. Create a new anchor point. That's why. Uh, can we remove that thing? Yes, we can. Just trying to make a nice angle, which I think I just got. Oops. All right, let's not touch anything. Sweep. Modifier. Let's go with a cylinder, make it way smaller. 
Yeah, radius of one seems to be slightly too big. Yep, looks much better. Okay, so uh, small angle. Yeah, sorry, I was quiet because I was trying to focus on that. Yeah, radius of five seems to be okay. So, and hide everything. Whoops, I may have to back here make it slightly longer or eventually I'll do that later so flip 2.5 So we just grab that, we use the scale tool to make it a little bit bigger. We grab that here, make it a little bit less. All right, we're good. Actually, the radius should have been um, a little bit bigger. That's fine. Let's just place it here. Nice and easy. Or, yeah, let's make things properly. So we we'll move it here. We grab that and that. We'll move a little bit. Now we will duplicate the small step. So we just make a copy of it. Okay, let's make it smaller. And 
I just realized we are supposed to be working on that ladder. That's the only one. So anyway, that's done. Let's move that a little bit. And actually, now it's too big. Okay, we detach that. So we can grab it again. We attach that and we create a snow a symmetry. Not okay. It just means I have to make that smaller. So now let's try again. Did work. I think we got it the right way. We're good. <coughs> so done, done. I'm not gonna make that. That was fast. So yeah. Let's quickly grab that and that. Use the extrudes. Or even one should definitely be just fine. Yes. So that will be the metallic part, just to um, it just to give some um, volume effect. Looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so let's make sure we have it right. Done, done. What happened to those lights? What did you do? Pretty sure I didn't touch that. Yeah. Well, good thing I checked.
The mirror looks now very complete. Let's take away the blueprints. So we gotta get our idea of what is going on. So as you can see, looks neat. Is you? Huh? There is a little sphere that was lost. Let me see. We're done. Done. Yeah, I have to duplicate it back. Done. Okay, we can definitely move on to the uh, bump part. Oh yeah. I'm still going to add some details here because well we're trying to make a nice looking far track. So yeah, one of the detail I had to make 